four friends, each from a different corner of the world, decided to go on an adventure. There was Jumbo, with a heart as big as the African savanna. Bonjour, a lover of baguettes and all things French. Hola, with a fiery spirit that matched the Spanish sun. And Alekom wa Asalam, whose kindness flowed like the rivers of his homeland. They heard tales of a famous man named Hello. People around the world knew him. They wanted to meet this amazing man. They packed their bags. They were ready for anything. They said goodbye to their homes. The adventure to find Hello was about to begin. They were very excited. They knew it would be a long journey. They were ready to learn new things. They were ready to make new friends along the way. Their first stop was Africa. Jambo was the guide. They saw tall giraffes. They heard lions roar in the distance. The sun was hot, but the friends were excited. They asked the animals, do you know hello? The animals didn't understand. They just looked at the friends with curious eyes. They met some friendly villagers. They danced to the beat of drums. They learned new ways to greet each other. In my language, we say Jambo to say hello. The friends thought it was very interesting. They realized that people have different ways of saying hello. Next, they flew to France. Bonjour was excited to show his country. They ate delicious croissants and pastries. They saw the Eiffel Tower standing tall against the blue sky. They asked the people, where can we find hello? The people smiled and shrugged. They didn't know of a person named hello. Bonjour taught his friends some basic French phrases. They learned to say bonjour, which made them laugh. It sounded a lot like the name of the man they were looking for. They started to wonder, could hello be a word, not a person? Their journey took them to Spain, where Hola was the guide. They marveled at the beautiful architecture. They enjoyed delicious tapas and learned to dance the flamenco. They asked around about hello, but their questions were met with confused looks. Hola. Hola, trying to find the right words, greeted a kind old woman with a warm hola. Buenos dias. The woman smiled and replied with a buenos dias. The friends were more confused than ever. They realized that even within the same language, there were so many ways to greet someone. Their travels brought them to the bustling streets of London. They roamed through crowded streets. They saw the majestic Big Ben. They drank cups of hot tea. They asked everyone they met, have you seen hello? Why, hello is just how we greet each other here. Finally, a friendly shopkeeper chuckled and said, why, hello is just how we greet each other here. The friends looked at each other in surprise. Could it be this simple? They had traveled the world looking for a person, but it turned out to be a word, a greeting, something they used every day. They made memories that would last a lifetime. They learned about different cultures. They learned that even though people speak different languages, a simple greeting can bring them together. But they discovered something even more important. Their quest to find hello might not have gone as planned. As they hugged each other goodbye, they knew this wasn't the end. It was just the beginning of many more adventures to come. They learned that the real treasure was the journey. And the friends they made along the way.